Do you have an eSIM ready iPhone and want to know how to set up your eSIM mobile data connection? In this video, you will learn about how to install your eSIM profile to get online while keeping your physical SIM card carrier and phone number. Before we start, make sure to update with the latest version of iOS. Open the camera app and scan the QR code in the welcome email. You will then be automatically redirected to proceed with the setup. In the following steps, you will need to provide details on how you want to use eSIM in your daily life. Press Continue. Your new eSIM will be labeled as secondary. Your existing home carrier will remain as primary. You can rename your eSIM by clicking on Secondary and typing a description. Next, you need to select which line you will be using for phone calls. Choose Primary, which is your physical SIM card, as your default line, because eSIM data packages don't support landline calling. Afterwards, you are asked to select how you want to use iMessage and FaceTime. As for eSIM data packages, no phone number is needed, so choose Primary here. Select the default line for mobile data traffic, like browsing the web or using apps online. To choose your eSIM carrier, select the second entry. If you want to allow iOS to switch between your home carrier and the eSIM, turn on Allow Mobile Data Switching. As most eSIM data packages work with roaming, you need to ensure it is turned on. In your Settings app, choose Mobile Data and then select the new data plan to turn on data roaming. You're ready to go! Keep in mind that you can always change and review your mobile data preferences in your settings. Enjoy your eSIM mobility!